Hello Hackers, today at Bikram Security we will be exploiting a very simple price manipulation bug. Right now I'll be using oswaldbooks.com for the test subject. For Indian high school students you might recognize this pretty nicely as this is the company that provides you with all the guides, question papers and samples and this is where I, my, I found my first price manipulation bug. Normally when I would try for price manipulation I'd simply try to add the um, particular uh, product and while I'm adding that, I request the uh, I'll intercept the request and try to edit the value from there. But the problem here is that every product is linked to a product ID. That means that the cost is obtained from the server side, which means we cannot manipulate it, which means that we cannot edit the cost. So, but what is the one thing that we have the right to edit? The quantity. And that is exactly what we'll be exploiting over here. Right now, the price is 448. And as I increase the quantity, the value for the price is multiplied by it. So, let's just look into it. And right now, I will change the quantity to 4. Intercept the request. And here, in the value parameter where you see my 4 is gone, I'll just add an extra minus. Uh, and the minus is filtered out in the client side so that creates a problem so the end value here will be 448 into minus 4 which is minus 1792 I'll forward the request and for safety I will also edit it under the URL here Once this is done, I should be able to see my cart value in a negative form. And as you can see, the subtotal is minus 1792. But this won't really help us because I'm clicking checkout. It doesn't mean that we get one th the, this amount from Oswald Books' bank account. Instead, what we have to do is we have instead now it's uh, having a negative value in your cart means um, that you have a coupon code and right now I have a discount of minus 1792 so that means I can add all the items that I want in the cart until I reach the minimum cart value currently my cart value is negative which means I'll have to add more products or enough products to, until my cart value goes to a positive one and then the transaction can be considered as a valid and will be allowed by the payment portal. By the end of the demo, you would have been able to see that I was able to add around 5 items, uh, each on an average cost at 200 rupees, and I had to pay um, just 254 rupees for them in total because of the negative card value right now my card value is 254 and if I let us say remove one item out of here my card value will be uh, uh, 10 rupees This is why it is very very important to filter out or at least to be on the lookout for such twisted values because normally web developers do not expect their customers to be insane enough to put negative values in the quantity in the quantity section but hackers do try for these methods and even you can try and there is a really good chance that you might actually find this bug again in multiple websites you might not find them much on public programs but I am pretty sure that you will get a lot of them on private programs or even ones with uh, a responsible disclosure. So this is why the very, an extremely simple patch for this is to make sure that the value is not below zero. Now if I go to the payment portal, uh, if I click on checkout then this will direct me to a payment portal either Razorpay or PayU uh, and where I'll only have to pay the amount that I have in my cart 
and once the payment is successful from there it will be granted it will be considered as a successful transaction and will also be considered as a valid order now after this if the company is smart enough to look into their logs and figure out that there is something wrong with the transaction it is uh, it won't be really helpful but at least it will still be considered as a valid bug As you can see that the payment portal also asked me to pay only 10 rupees so once this transaction is done it will send a response to the website saying that the transaction was successful and will be considered as a valid order you can also try hunting for uh, these bugs i originally learned about this particular exploitation methodology from an article in infosec write-ups which i can't seem to find right now if anyone has an idea where it is from please link it down in the comment section below I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something new. Thank you so much, stay safe.